think the MCU, no, but just like if they keep on doing like new characters like Deadpool, I think he can go on for longer. But again, he's he's getting kind of old though. Fox. What's going to happen is you got Captain Marvel. Yeah. After Avengers 4, all the contracts are up. So those guys are going to be gone anyways. Mm-hmm. So Apparently, Chris Hemsworth wants to stay. Chris Hemsworth does want to stay because Thor is now badass and relevant. And yeah. completely OP too. Like he is a god. Playing God of War, man. I told you. What did I tell yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> what did I tell Bring you? me Thanos. Oh, yeah. Um, so much. But uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think it's, for me, I don't think I will care as much after Avengers 4. Yeah. Once Avengers 4 is done, that's that's it for me. And that's where I'm kind of like, how much longer are they going to go after Avengers 4 where people, like you said, are going to still consider it to be relevant or whatever? I, don't get me wrong. People are still going to go just for the sake of, okay, it's another movie to go see and, you know, whatever, and it's the next hype. But I, I really see a shelf life for these movies, and I, I don't know exactly what that shelf life will be, but, like, I don't see it being something where like 15 years down the road, we're still talking about Marvel movies like like to that extent. Maybe if I, DC I, picks up we'll, their slack. We'll talk about Marvel phase one, two, three and up to Avengers four. So similar to how Star Wars did I theirs. So. I think so. like I think for the end of time, we're going to talk about a 10 year run of movies that however Avengers four goes. Fingers yeah. crossed. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking about one of the greatest achievements in all of cinema that no one's ever seen before. Hmm. Wow, that's a big statement. Well, they've already let's put it down here. Let's 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 really look at it. Star Wars had that before, a cultural phenomenon. Yeah. Star Trek also had it in the sense that they had Klingon as an elective, right? Like they they that, those are big on a smaller things. scale scale, but yeah, on a smaller scale. Um, but really, when you look at it, though, we broke it. Star Wars Ralph? stopped after number four, uh, six yeah got brought back after what 20 years almost yeah mcu 10 years one to what 19 20 movies 19 no this was 18 i think 18 so 19 movies in total mm-hmm. and we're talking maybe five misses yeah i would i would consider maybe five full-blown yeah misses. guardians of galaxy 2 one of them obviously sure whatever whatever you choose <laughs> whatever people, yeah people could definitely pick at least five maybe more yeah but a 10 year run, a culmination that's been ongoing to something like this that started with one movie that could have like tanked the whole thing and it never would have happened. I don't know, man. That's that's something pretty it's a, epic. It's a good point. That's yeah. pretty epic. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just think, like, honestly, after Infinity War or Part Two, whatever it's called, Part Four, all I care about really is it's Part Two, not Part Four. Yeah. All I care about, though, is Spider Man. Spider Man. Of like, course, because that's your favorite. Like yeah. you, yeah. Like I don't really care about Iron Man. Like you know, I don't even remember Iron Man one, and I don't have the ambition to go back and see it. Maybe if I do a rewatch of the movies before Part Four comes out or Part Two, <laughs> Part Two comes out. But uh, yeah, I don't really know. I think that if they change it up enough, where they kind of do have different tones in movies, like one being like dark and like you know, Guardians of the Galaxy was really a comedy. If they bring Deadpool and have some rated R ones. Well, and I think that's what might happen is compilation ones. Also, if they just have two different universes, like one X-Men universe and one MCU, yeah, and just have it like, because that's two ways to bank and they can do different things with it. What do you think about them going reverse Star Wars? So Star Wars started off slow, three movies here, three movies here, and now they're just churning them out and throwing up everywhere. More MCU. Slow down the pace, you think? Yeah. Yes, it is. Like, what if they went back to just, what if they just went to two a year? Because eventually they're going to get diminishing returns. It's going to happen. But there's so many characters. I don't think, I don't, like, if they do go that route, I mean, Star Wars, the reason why in the beginning they did that was because, like, they were limited as to the characters that or whatever the story that they could build on. So they almost had to wait two years. There was also the technology of it, too. But, yeah, I don't know. That's. I feel like if Marvel did stop doing multiple movies a year, like two or three, it would kill their, like, because they have a lot of momentum right now. And if they just stop it, Ooh. Marvel. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. If they keep making money, there's no reason to stop it. Exactly. Some will, some will make less money than others. Yeah. Like but Star all will still make a lot of money. Star Wars A Solo Story, $250 million budget, barely cracked 125 million. Was that million. less than Justice League? Uh, 